Hi guys, welcome back to She Likes It Hard. I'm Chastity. I'm Alyssa. And I guess I'm back. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry for all y'all that had to just, you know, hang out with me for four weeks. I'm fucking weak. <laughs> guess who's back? Are you happy to be back? Yeah, this feels so weird though. Why but, does it feel weird? I don't know, because I haven't, like, we record in bulk, so now I haven't done it for like three fucking months. It was hot oh, outside the true. last time I recorded. That is true. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Mm. It's so been like 12 start. weeks. What have you been doing these last however many months you've been MIA? What is the last thing we talked about? I don't know. It was in North Carolina. So you went to homecoming. You went to... For Malik's birthday. Oh, okay. Went so I went to, to homecoming. I went to New York. Damn, I went to New York. I'm pretty sure. Did you go to New York? No, I didn't go to New oh. York. I okay, but yeah, I got a new job. Did I tell them the new job? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't think Well, so. I got a new job. <laughs> I got a new job. Um, and it's so much better. Shout out to my new job. <laughs> um, we love a healthier atmosphere. What else happened? Uh, Malik had a birthday. And then we threw a Friendsgiving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was crazy crazy well it wasn't crazy but it was fun it was crazy for like planning it out because what food did you make i made pot roast and what did i make i made three things oh i made pot roast banana pudding and then i bought some cupcakes from Publix. oh yeah if you could have seen the menu it looked like top tier yeah um, there was, it was so much so much stuff on that menu yeah like, Oh, yeah. I made a customized menu because I'm extra. But, yeah, it was fun. It was cute. Um, what else have I done? Oh, and I went to homecoming. That was before Millie's birthday and everything. Also, I got sick as fuck. Probably from being around so many people. But, mm-hmm. hey. We're just traveling a lot. That, too. But, yeah. I was sick as fuck. I had a little strap. That's why she wasn't here. <laughs> Uh, literally, I was like, oh, I'll probably feel like I was really like stretching it to the last minute. I was like, I'll probably feel better. Like, I can get up. Like, but like, I still have no voice. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I can't even record the damn podcast and talk right. too much for me to like even try. So I was like, well, I guess I'll tell us I'm not coming. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's all I've been up to. I guess I'm saying it like it's a little bit, but no, it's a lot. New job. Oh, I'm redoing my apartment. I mean, yeah. I'll still have the green couch. That's all y'all see, but it'll be different. <laughs> I walked in here, I was like, well, there's some redecorating. <laughs> yeah, like, I literally, the only reason that I have as much stuff in here now is because I knew you were coming. Oh, and so I you didn't want to completely, like, yeah. empty fire place. That yeah, and I was like, oh, I can't get, because, like, I was going to get rid of the TV stand, and I know mm-hmm. you like to watch TV. Oh, my gosh, I would have died. No, I would have been fine. I probably would have just watched my phone or my computer. And I was but like, I well, I can't that. get rid of, like, the whole living room because Alyssa is going to be here. So I didn't get rid of anything. But, hey, whatever. I appreciate that. Yeah. Mm. All righty. Well, we're going to read our hard ask. So it says, hi, Alyssa and Chastity. Hello. I'm 29 and all my friends now have kids and I'm feeling really left out because I don't have any and I don't want any anytime soon. But I always feel left out when they go on mom dates with their kids or even if it's just the adults I feel left out because all I want to do is t- all they want to do is talk about their kids. What should I do? Um start finding new friends. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say I don't know. I don't have any friends with kids. I mean, do if I? you have Hold one, on. if you have like one or two here and there, like whatever. But if you're, the whole friend group has kids and you don't, yeah, they always gonna be talking about the kids, um, the things that they do. Be- if they're like, and nah, nah, I don't, I don't want to say if they're good parents, but kind of if they're good parents <laughs> and like spend time with their kids, their kids are probably gonna be with them like a lot when they go do stuff. So it's like they'll want to go out and do things with people who have kids so that their kids aren't by themselves and da 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 so i would say just like you can still keep those friends but find some new friends too that do things like not because i mean i would get sick of hanging out with people who always just talked about their kids like i'm so surprised that they only talk about their kids well i guess mm-hmm. but i feel like everything like I was about to even say, if I they're guess not like- talking about their kids even if they're like yo let me what's let me let me tell you what happened after i dropped johnny off from at school like why did we even have to bring up that you dropped johnny off at school <laughs> We didn't. This is so, Did like, how the, out of the loop I am. No one around me has kids 
at all. And then if they do, like, they're like, like my aunt, she has a son and he's like nine. No, he's not nine. He's yeah, like, like six. The people who have kids around me are like cousins, so it's not necessarily. Yeah, nice. like, I don't have anyone around me with kids. Anyone. I think by 29, I probably will. Shit, I'm almost 28. <laughs> <laughs> I do have people married around me, though, but yeah. like, kids, uh, I don't know. Me and my. <laughs> I feel like people are having kids like super, super late now. They're going back to like. Yeah, me. Having them very long. <laughs> But I don't know. I feel like if it's bothering you that much, you should venture out, like Alyssa said, and oh, spread your wings, get some, get some new friends. Yeah. I mean, obviously, like you'll, they'll still be your friends, but I think primary friends probably not for as long as you don't have kids because right. it's just awkward. Right. I don't know. Like it's just, it's always gonna be about that. So like, if it's bothering you, it's not like it's gonna stop. Because even if you go out for like brunch and have mimosas or something, like. They still got to deal with their kids for the rest of the day, so they're not about to just be out drinking mimosas because yeah. they can't go take a nap when they go home. So it's like just things like that. Like you can still do things with them, but it most likely will be derailed or something because they're kids. Yeah, yeah. So. Like they're just in a different catalog now. Right. Time that's to find a new one. That's it. Mm. <laughs> All righty then. So what are we? Oh, thank you for the question. What are we talking about? <laughs> Uh, what the hell are we talking about? Hold oh on, hold on, me. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, we are talking about, oh, uh, we're talking about Ooh. why do they want you? Why don't they want you until you're with someone new? And who is they? Your ex, your past. I don't mm. know. I don't so know. not like we're just talking about man. Yeah, like any whoever is from your past. Why do they want you? Why do they want you? When Shit, you we about to, to figure you. it out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, do I have an example? Yes, <laughs> I always have an example. I don't think any person what that I've ever talked to has not came back after. I'm um, sorry, that has somebody. never happened to me. Well, I guess I'll tell my story. Yeah, I was just thinking about. It. I was like, no, that's never like not okay. So, because because what I'm thinking of, they want you when you're done. So not even like a person that you never had interest in or somebody like all of my like breakups or whatever. I just didn't. We both were just like, eh. yeah, it could be anybody though. It doesn't have to be like your ex. It's just people didn't want you until you. Yeah, that's never happened. Brought them out, bring them out. <laughs> yeah, that's never happened what yeah all the people that wanted me i wanted them and all the people that i wanted didn't want me so <laughs> well i'll tell me a story yeah. i'll tell everyone a story enough for both of us okay. um because i feel like this happens to me often you sneaky bitches anyways <laughs> Anyways, um, so let me see. Give a story. Uh, shit, even now. So obviously, I've been with the league for damn. It's almost been three years. Is it? Yeah, it'll I be three like years. Every time you tell me, it'll be three years on the twenty third of okay. December. I just feel like I've known you so much longer. So every time you say three years, I'm like, you, you've been with him ever since I've known you. But I'm yeah, like, we didn't make it. Official I guess I have known you like, for like three years. Yeah, yeah, because I was with I was in the relationship when I met you. Mm. Yeah, because it was twenty twenty, and, and I, I met, met you in April twenty twenty. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, then I wasn't in a relationship yet. Maybe I was just dating or something. Yeah, we've been dating since twenty eighteen, but together twenty twenty December twenty twenty. Anyways, so obviously I've been I've been with Malik for like three years. And so I just feel like I think at one point people were waiting <laughs> um for like Oh for you to break up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like I think they were like trying to be respectful, but then I guess they realized that like it was not happening. So then people <laughs> were like, wait, let me profess my love to you. And uh-huh. then I've been like So was it like they, okay, so you would, before Malik, were like interested in them and then you were like. "Um." I would say like, obviously like before Malik, I was dating people and then like I had mutual interest with people, but like we would like fall out or like Mm -hmm. it just was like, it wasn't working or we were just so young and dumb that it was just like nobody needed a relationship at that time. And so I think that like now obviously it's been a lot of growth and development because when i met malik i was like what 
22 23 um so like now i'm like well 27 <laughs> i'm 27 and i think it's been like a lot of like people grow the people development people rethinking and re yeah. um they're going back develop. and mm-hmm. yeah think about all the things they possibly did wrong so now i've been getting like <laughs> not anymore but i was getting oh like i just want to see like da, da, da. i just see you're doing so good no but what is it about someone doing good that makes you be like let me let me try type of thing like so many people are out here doing good. I, I like, think people what? are attracted to like people who have things going on for themselves. See, but then at the same time, you hear men want women who are like just just want them and just want them to like I don't know, like the women who aren't really doing much. Like they kind of in that groupie type status or city. Girl I will tell thing, you like, that I've never been. <laughs> I have never been like I don't know. Like how whatever you just described, I've never been like that. Oh, I know. I know, That's and I've confused. always, never in my life have I had have I lacked a supply of men, and so I and so I think that that's like. I think it's bullshit. Oh, and that's what I was going to say. So I do think it's 100% Because people will be like, oh, I want... Like, I've always been kind of like se- semi-independent. And, uh-huh. be, and people are like, oh, I want people to be like this and be right. like this. I want... And I am I feel like I'm like polar opposite from all the things that people say they want. Mm-hmm. And yet... Because I don't think that... And I'm talking like men specifically. I don't know as much about women. Yeah. But like, me, I don't think men knows what that really means when they say they don't want an independent woman. They want like a more submissive and yada yada because when they get one they like you know like you ain't got a job <laughs> like you ain't you can't do this you can't do that da, da, da. And it's just like i mean that's what you wanted right yeah so that, that's why i feel like a lot of times when you're done met like usually they come back or they want you when you're done because they went out here and they started dating <laughs> and realized this is this fish or this sea is full of <laughs> like crap <laughs> What they say about all the fish in the sea i don't want the little fishies i want the shark and i just left my shark so it's just like mm, i feel like they say they want it and then they go out here they start dating because it happens to me i feel like i'm on the flip side of like i'd be like mm, i don't want them and then i see like i start dating again and i'm just like eh. um and i'm like no hey, how you doing? <laughs> um and then they usually don't nothing happens but I- yeah no i mean but i think it could be like an ego or jealousy thing too because it's like Mm -hmm. when people so when you lose somebody anybody honestly like if you lose them through like relationships death a job anything you start to like damn like i should have did this better i should like it makes you like in in a sense it's kind of makes you miss the thing anyway Mm -hmm. um so i think that's a part of it it's just like damn like i used to have this Um, oh kind of like that the grass ain't always green yeah yeah like um, and losing some someone kind of makes you value it more. So mm-hmm. it's just like, oh, like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> That's the one thing I've, I'd be thinking about sometimes with um, Reach Over. I'm just like, I feel like if we broke up, I feel like it do so much for him that, like, he may not have experienced. At least he doesn't act like he has mm-hmm. before. And I feel like he is going to be a little confused when he starts, if he, if let me not even say if or like when um <laughs> just hypothetically i guess if we were to break up um, i don't even know I who the like, hell we talk about uh-huh i don't even know who the hell we talking about reach over? oh jason sorry i oh. i still be like i'm gonna just call him reach over on here even though we didn't met him but, um, <laughs> yeah i feel like i feel like if we ever broke up he would be like a little what's it like, i don't want to say it's a culture shock but almost a culture shock type type of vibe because he would probably expect a lot more of women and it's like because of and i'm not throwing any shade but because of the women that i feel like he dates or like that he would attract i feel like the type of woman he would he would attract it wouldn't i don't know how he pulled me but like it wouldn't (laughs) be somebody like me that is gonna do the, the things that i'm doing so i feel like he would get he would attract a woman that's almost like that city girl type of thing um and he would just be i feel like he would have a hard time i feel like he'd be like why aren't you doing this why aren't you doing that and then he'd be like 
he'd be somebody that would come back type of thing. I'm not throwing any shade at him. I know he listens to this. So I'm not talking like no shade, don't, don't <laughs> no up. shade, don't no tea. tea. No um, shade. But yeah, that's how I'm just. That's how I feel like that. I feel like that would happen. Yeah, because we're you know the. the I mean, pickings. I think it also like at a certain. I don't know. Like I think in the minds of people for anything, I think. It's like you kind of marked your territory. I don't want to be like it's kind of it's kind of like you marked your territory. Mm-hmm. Like the same reason why people be like, oh, my friend can't date this person, even mm-hmm. if you talk to them like five seconds. That's I think true. it's like you kind of marked your territory, and now if someone else is pursuing them or like showing interest, it's like you see it as a threat, and it's like, oh, excuse me, mm-hmm. but like because I mean, people even do that when like they're not they're still in the relationship, like you some girl come talk to your man or he talking to the woman for too long and it's like it's very harmless but it's just like <laughs> bad dog yeah. type vibe yeah. so yeah, so it's like the sense. fight to win you over <laughs> and it's that thing of like i like you which is weird because it's like people want that that person that attracts attention that makes them look good mm-hmm. but then at the same time it's like you can't handle the person that makes you look good it's like I yeah. like when women are like looking at my man and da da da, but let a woman come talk to my man. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Whole different story. And I think it's also like so like apps like social media and everything makes people. Obviously, we've talked about this. Like you show your good parts of your life, so it's like oh, so yeah, it makes you look good. And there's like you can everybody can see like your exes, whatever, whoever can see like what's going on still a little bit in your life. So it's like dang, like I have this all of this going, like da 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 da. And so it's like actually, I feel like that's the e- the ego part too. Is yeah, like yeah, I not even he has all this going for him, but I feel like secretly and maybe not even secretly because <laughs> personally, I was like this. I. I still would be like this. I kind of want my person to be struggling a little bit. After oh, I bur- like after we're done. I don't want you to be all like, because then I feel That's like funny, but I Luke was said the, the same thing. He was like, if you get up and you start going to the yeah, gym, like, and I like, feel like I was the issue. Doing this, I'll be like, oh, uh? right, literally. So if you see your person on social media, not only if you see them on social media, but if your friends or somebody's like, oh, I see, such like, and such oh, I see, like, Alyssa went to Thailand. Like, that's like, so cool. So you were holding her back, to me. like, so I feel like mm, that's another thing. Like, no, I don't want you to be doing good, and go. I want you back now because you're no. I don't yeah. want people to think it was me. People like things that are shiny and new. And then I feel like once you like leave something or something that just wasn't meant to be, it's mm-hmm. like you become shiny and new again. Right. So it's like, oh, why? Right. Wait, wait. But like essentially, y'all, don't be like me because it's like really toxic. <laughs> it's like a really toxic <laughs> mindset to even have. But like how, like, I don't know. Is it a, is it a question of how do you not be like that? Uh, how do you not go after somebody after they're done with you like just leave them be like if they i don't know i guess if they come back they come back and i actually hate that saying but like you know that that crap what's meant to me you'll be (laughs) i hate that saying so much it's so funny you were this is how you who you were as at one point on the podcast i'm sorry yes (laughs) <laughs> um, that's disgusting maybe y'all. you should watch, rewatch your old episode i don't want to okay because i look so much prettier then and i just can't even now so it makes me sad but um well just listen to it <laughs> oh, okay. no, we'll have that's to true. watch it um but yeah it's a, but back to what you were saying so. how do you like is that a, a confidence thing in yourself is that an, like something you need to work on yeah how do you do that what do you mean how do you not want something that like how do you let go of that person and not want to go back to them and then if that if you're on the other flip side if that person is coming back to you like how do you personally i just feel like you broke up with them for a reason so don't take them back but like it's so funny i think we talked about this before not on podcasts but like when we first were being friends probably um, oh yeah because it sounds like my uh situation <laughs> of me trying to go back um, to so and it's i was t- I, I was telling you at the time that i was like you have to remember the bad things because it's like right now all you're remembering is all of the good things so mm-hmm. you remember they're like oh yeah this was great Dang, i do remember you saying that yeah. Yeah. yeah you remember where you were were we in the car yeah we were like uh-huh. by, we went to try to that, have food yeah it was uh like cuban or something yeah uh-huh yeah and i was like you have to like i was like it's easy to want to go back to what you know it is it's like that's true it's the easiest thing you can do is to go back to what you know you know all the bad things you're gonna get you know the, what's good good gonna come out of it so it's like 
it's just easy. So mm-hmm. sometimes you have to take the scary step, the fearful step. <laughs> you have to be like, okay, I'm choosing me so I can grow and I can develop and mm-hmm. I can gain the same self-confidence that I'm seeing in them. And so at the same time, it's kind of like jealousy because it's like, oh, True. I see you're doing good. And I don't feel good. Why right. don't I feel good? Let me go back to see what you're doing and why you're feeling good. Let mm-hmm. me see how I can replicate that. So I think at this point, it's about self-discovery, self-journey, figuring out what you need to grow, figure out why you why are you feeling jealous? What's mm-hmm. triggering, triggering you at that moment to feel this jealousy? Yeah. And I also think like on the flip side of the per- like if the person was coming back to you and you're trying to stay distant like don't be delusional should like, you entertain them no no and because <laughs> like like we just said i used to believe in that crap of like what's meant to be will be whatever i mean sure i guess if i still kind of believe be, it but, be. but like so no i won't even say i used to believe it i believe in sometimes the thing of what's meant to be will be but then i think that back then i was so delusional of like thinking well how is it going to be meant to be if i don't pick up the phone if i don't reach out to see what they're if they want to hang out if i don't do this and like that's not what that means it doesn't mean what's meant to be with your assistance will be <laughs> it's like what's meant to be will be if it just happens it just happens and that's more of those things of like oh if y'all like at the same place like you didn't make that happen they didn't make that happen type of thing um so and it's like, well, what if I don't answer the call? Then you don't answer the call. What's meant to be will be. There will be another chance of them seeing you. So don't be delusional and think that you have to give this what's Delulu. meant to be some assistance in order for it to be. Why is my phone vibrating and I turned it on? Do not disturb. That's so weird. Um, but yeah, so I just feel like for those people, like just don't don't just take them back so easily because I don't like nothing's gonna change. Like, also, I feel like this could be like a little malip- manipulative, ma- manipulative, <laughs> and kind of surface level. Um, just because it's like, oh yeah, like I can have you whenever I want you. Like some people are in that mindset. Like mm-hmm. there's different mindsets that people are in when you separate. So some mm-hmm. people are just like, oh, I just miss them, so I want to be back. Some people are yep. like, oh, I can get her back. Yep. Fuck, forget whoever else. Like mm-hmm. they don't got her like I do. I'll oh, she'll go back to me, or he'll go back to me regardless. And so I think we have to remember that like not everybody is thinking the best for you. Right. <laughs> so sure. you have for to sure. think the best for yourself. And so sometimes. You just need to be aware of that too. Like that's why I when I met Alyssa, I was like, fuck that, uh, fuck that. Um, if it's meant to be a V uh, thing, yeah. like <laughs> who cares? Like mm-hmm. live your life. Like if it does happen, okay. But like let's not even think about it because mm-hmm. by the time if it's meant to be a B happens, you wouldn't have even thought about that person for who knows how long. And you I would have like ran. That's usually how it works. Yeah, you would have ran into them randomly at the airport mm-hmm. or something. It's not. Oh yeah, we happened to call each other and then yeah. it just no, no. Because where was the growth and how? like <laughs> and that's why i think like to this day i in my head i'm like clearly it wasn't meant to be i have not i live in the same city y'all. <laughs> i haven't ran into this man once oh my, my father has ran into this man multiple times my little sister has ran into this man my friend sees him all the time i'm like my best friend sees him all the time like i have not ran into this man so i like that i think that's what made me realize that stop being delusional and think that you have to give it assistance for it to happen like if it's supposed to happen it's supposed to happen in three years it has not happened yeah i was so me and my friend were talking about me and my friend t were talking about this Mm -hmm. and because she like had a past relationship too and they live in the same city and she has not seen him and like the city that we lived in was tiny it's like it's like it's impossible to not run into somebody and she's like i haven't seen him since then i'm like that's how you know like mm-hmm. you were not even meant to be in each other's lives at this point anymore because mm-hmm. like you're not even seeing them you guys don't run in the same circles you guys don't have the same hobbies because mm-hmm. like if you had that much that's in common so with true. that person you, you would definitely ran, yeah. ran into them that's by now so, so hey you know i'm all for delulu and hoopla i love <laughs> but sometimes you gotta be a little more realistic yeah that's so true <laughs> that is so true um so i believe like so when you were going through your thing and when I was going through my thing, Let I think we, yeah, oh. 
<laughs> your thing. Um, <laughs> when we uh, we started doing different things, like we just you were trying new things, and I know I was trying new things. Like when I was when I had like distanced myself from people in the past. It's just like mm-hmm. you're trying new things, you're learning new things about yourself, you're trying new foods, you're going out and putting yourself out of your comfort zone, and be like, hey, you want to be my friend? You're mm-hmm. just doing different things, and I think that's a way subconsciously to gain self-confidence mm-hmm. because it's like those things take you into a place where you have to be vulnerable where you have to be in a place in a position where you haven't been before yeah especially like reaching out and trying to make an very mm-hmm. <laughs> put you in an area where it's vulnerable and i think those things kind of help you and direct you into growing and being the better person and knowing what you like because clearly if you ain't running into that person no more <laughs> they was holding you back because mm-hmm. they were showing you things they like that you clearly were interested if you ain't start yeah. keep doing them. <laughs> that's what i was telling you earlier like i was like getting emotional a little bit looking at my pictures because i'm just like i was like doing because i was just looking at this period of when i was in atlanta and like that was even when i was like going to mexico and like going on vacation and um just like doing random stuff and i was just like dad like i really miss like that me like i was just so like just doing whatever <laughs> and i feel like now like i have bogged myself down with all these responsibilities i don't even have to have like i just have all these extra responsibilities that, because i've chosen to have them and it's like i don't i don't like this me i don't like this me so i feel like if in once again, this is a, a big if, and it better not happen because we're getting married. But, like, if <laughs> Reach Over broke up with me, um, like, I don't know if I would be able to have the confidence not to take him back because I am not, I'm not connected with myself. I don't have the confidence in myself right now because I'm just, I'm so oh, disconnected that makes from sense. me. Okay. I'm very disconnected from me. And it's not okay. Um, but, yeah. So, it's like, I, I get what you're saying. Like, because I forcefully had to be out here which is why i always tell you move somewhere different to experience new things um i don't think i I think if i was still at home which when i was still at home for that period of time like that we were broken up because i was home for probably like five or six months after we broke up still and i was just always hitting him up always trying to hang out like just trying to just do anything to like get him to like hang out with me so that he would miss me or like have that little inkling like oh yeah like this is supposed to be and it's just like I came, I came down here and I was like, <laughs> yeah, I, I was stuff. like, I was like, yeah, you hug out with me, you're going crazy because I'm crazy, girl, I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good though. Like, get your friend that literally <laughs> has that mentality of f men, and like, because she has a boyfriend, it's a healthy mentality. Like, don't get the ones that's like just be using men and whatnot. But chastity is so like, we don't need men type of thing that it's just like let's just have fun like but she has a boyfriend so she's still grounded in the fact of like still having that emotional intelligence and stuff but i don't know yeah it was fun we had some vibes mm-hmm. we just know anything for a minute <laughs> I'm gonna move back, but Chastity gonna be leaving eventually, and I'm gonna be here for no reason. Oh, for a week. Then I'll move to your next state. Yeah, I'm to come to DC. Yeah, no, I don't want to. It's <laughs> no, I'm okay. Um, oh, it was another thing I wanted to touch on on the should you entertain them thing. Um, I feel like you should like trust and ask yourself if you can rebuild that relationship because i think like when people come back to your life Mm -hmm. it's like exciting like it's exciting like whatever like oh wow like this person reached back out to me that's so exciting i wonder how they've been like Mm -hmm. it's so i think it's always exciting in the beginning even when you meet new people to just be like wow like yeah and so i feel like it's really important to like really think about like okay like what was our problem in the past okay Mm -hmm. do i feel like at this point in our lives we can fix this we can rebuild that or whatever yeah like because technically like if the problem was like cheating can you get over that they cheated on you i think it takes honesty with yourself to know that can you trust yourself can Mm -hmm. you guys trust each other to be able to rebuild after this previous like rejection period this previous like just catastrophe really Mm -hmm. (laughs) okay are you able to do that and then are you able to also like at the beginning you're gonna have to set boundaries set standards are you able to also do that because it's like just because you guys have a past does not mean you don't have to rebuild relearn and rediscover each other Mm -hmm. and i think that's important to know too which is also why like okay like i can get 
the people if it's meant to be it'll be but also you have to understand like okay here are my new boundaries that i learned from dealing with the issues that we had in the past yeah are we able to do that Mm -hmm. here are my new standards are we able to do that yeah because i definitely don't think you should jump into anything that was broken in the past without new boundaries yeah because it's like obviously if you you and this person or whoever or whatever had growth it's like okay well I know that past me used to tolerate that, but mm-hmm. new me doesn't tolerate that. And I feel like you have to be honest and upfront about that in the beginning. And if you can't do that, you nor that person are in a space that you guys should be entertaining each other out. Mm-hmm. And here's another saying for you. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. So I feel like a lot of times people will go back. Um, and I've gone back to people because I was just curious um, to see if it would be better this time. Um, and even though like I wasn't, I was doing Lulu back then too and didn't tell myself that that's what I was doing, but essentially like I was just curious if things are going to change and it it can go one, it can go one or two ways. (laughs) It will work out great or it's going to be hell. Um, it's, there's no like middle ground. So like, as soon as you start to feel like it's not changing, it's, it's going to be hell and it's going to kill you. So curiosity killed the cat always remember that whenever somebody wants you back <laughs> it may go good it may go fine but like it could also go another way. yeah i mean sometimes you just have to learn your lessons about those things like mm-hmm. i mean and dating like i don't i feel like dating is like rolling dice you know you oh, don't sure. know what you're really gonna get for sure and it's like how often do you roll dice for the first time ever in your life and mm-hmm. you land on the exact number you want? It's like a super rarity. So mm-hmm. I feel like you have to take that and be like, okay, like, well, this wasn't the right thing for me. Let me try something else. Yep. And I think you can apply that to jobs, to relationships, to food, shit, anything. Like, okay, well, just because I didn't like this style of fries doesn't mean I don't like right. this. Right. So, yeah, I think you should continue to make sure you're learning your lessons in these paths and like know your worth you don't have to settle um just because like you feel like this is the only person available to you sometimes you're just not ready and whatever you believe in is not going to give it to you right now Mm -hmm. (laughs) because you're not ready and as someone who like dated a bunch in their 20s um not even a bunch but dated different very different men there's a lot out here um, and I'm not saying like there's like I just said there's a lot out here but it's a lot of trash too. <laughs> but like there's so many different people out here and like I don't think without going through all those people I really even knew what I wanted in a man because um, I went from my first boyfriend which was like very innocent it was like high school like I don't know it was first boyfriend in high school to retro and then I was like oh retro he's better than my last one (laughs) this is what i want but then i started dating all these other guys and even though they weren't what i want there were like little things i was finding in each of them to like build out this like not perfect man but essentially like what my ideal type of man was and not necessarily like um financially or like looks wise but um like personality wise and more so like how i wanted them to treat me and how i wanted to feel with them so it's like just I honestly sometimes just be wanting to tell people if you break up with somebody over something big, um, just go date other people. If, even if you feel like you're going to take them back or whatever, and even if you feel like they're going to come back, I would still definitely date. Don't be out here doing the nasty. But <laughs> actually date other people so that you see what else is out there because then when they come back, you really have more of a clear idea of like, oh yeah, I, there's not the, I, I had what I wanted type yeah. of thing. Yeah, I, and I think I've told this to a couple of my friends. I'm like, you can't be in this mindset that this person like you want like a relationship like oh i want to be in a relationship i want this i really want to be married by this age and Mm -hmm. whatever but you don't know exactly what you want like you can't chase a goal setting realistic goals you can't Mm -hmm. set a realistic goal if you don't know what it is so like if you don't know what type of guy you like if you don't know what type of interest you you want him to have or what interest you have you Mm -hmm. can't go and ask for something like that you can't expect yourself to ask for something like that because you don't know Mm -hmm. so i think it's important to realize who you are learn a little bit about yourself and you know have some fun preach Yeah, but that's all I have to say. That's and all I gotta say. My what is it? My heart truth. Wow. My heart truth 
is sometimes you forgot what it was called (laughs) right and i think i named it um (laughs) my hard truth is sometimes you gotta kiss some frogs to find your prince my hard truth would be (laughs) they're very contradictory contradictory (laughs) (laughs) my hard truth is the grass is not always green on the other side Period. And that curiosity killed the cat. Those are my two hard truths. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well. So don't, essentially, don't, <laughs> leave, like, stop, don't not take the person back because you just want to see what else is out there. But Shit, don't if you take do want to see back. what else is out there, you should because there's no reason for you to take them back right then. That's there. why the, the curiosity part. Because so if you're little, still a little curious, you might I'm as well. I'm on two edges. Okay. <laughs> Not you on opposite ends, like mm-hmm. low key. Mm-hmm. I'm weak. I'm a little Delulu these days, y'all. Hey, <laughs> that's not even a new favorite word. I think I've said it like a few times in the last few weeks. Delulu. But thanks, guys. It's so good to be back. <laughs> we appreciate you being back because I hated not like I. I have learned I would never do a podcast by myself. I I will say that I will never do it by myself. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> um, and even like the one like doing you know the ones with jason was fine but the ones by myself i was like i cannot just sit here and just talk <laughs> by myself like this is just it i wonder just if i really could do weird. one by myself i it, think i probably try can. it one day because like, i'm this chatty felt weird <laughs> i mean i was chatting but i was just like no nah, oh, i don't feel weird. like i'm talking to nobody oh yeah i felt kind of like you could like call me i would have watched a little bit <laughs> <laughs> I was just laying around. Oh, that would have felt a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, whatever. Uh, thanks for tuning in for another episode. Oh, if you would like to cool. submit a hard ask, you can do show at she likes it hard podcast at gmail.com or DM us on any of our socials at she likes it underscore hard. Um, if you are watching us on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're listening uh, listening to us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, please leave a rating and or review. And that's it, I think. Um, (laughs) We love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Tuesday and have a good rest of your week. Bye. Ciao, Bella. Ciao.